Shalom. I want to start by giving all praises, honor, glory to Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai. Yahweh is the name of the Father who the world ignorantly called God. That word God really is Alahayim, which means powers and angels. That's not his real authentic name. His name is Yahweh. Um, his Hebrew is a Hebrew word. It's Yahweh. Yahweh. Uh, his son's name is Yahweh Shah. You know, it's not uh, Jesus Christ. His name is Yahweh Shah Hamashayak, and that's ancient Hebrew. So, um, because that's the language that everybody spoke at one time. But if you go back to the Tower, I think it was the Tower of Bab Babel. If I'm not mistaken, hold on, let me search Tower of Babel. No, that's not it. Uh, it's not the Tower of Babel. Uh, what's the name of that thing? That they, it was when, when they tried to come together as one in Genesis. Uh -huh, Genesis 11 and 1. And the whole earth was one language and of one speech. And that speech was Hebrew, man. Everybody spoke Hebrew. Everybody spoke Hebrew. I'm talking about the Edomites. Every every nation under the face on the face of the earth had one language and everybody spoke Hebrew. This is Genesis 11 and 1. The whole earth was of one language. The holy language and of one speech. And it came to pass as they journeyed from the east that they found a plain in the land of Shinar and they dwelt there. And they said one to another, Go, go, go to, let us make brick and burn them thoroughly. And they, and they had brick for stone and slime had dates for mortar. And they said, Go to, let us build up a sit us a city and a tower whose top can reach unto the heaven heaven unto heaven and let us make us a name lest we be scattered abroad upon the face of the whole earth. And Yahweh came down to see the city and the tower which the children of men built built it. And Yahweh said, Behold, the people is one, and they have all one language, and this and this they begin to do and now nothing will be restrained from them, which they have imagined to do. Go to, let us go down, and go go down, and there confound their language, that they may not understand one another's speech. So Yahweh scattered them abroad from thence upon the face of, of the earth, and they f left off to build the city. Therefore is the name of Yahweh of Isalakia. Therefore is the name of Babel because the Yahweh had did did there confound the language of all the earth, and there thence was did Yahweh scatter them abroad upon the face of the of the earth. So it was Babel. Uh so yeah, going back to my point, I had not lost my point. At one time, they uh the whole world spoke one language, but I'm finna jump right into the uh the real scripture that made me uh hmm this looks like a good chapter. Um, this is uh Psalms the 37 chapter. I was gonna read just one through four, but it looks like I might have to read the whole chapter. So I might just name it Psalm 137. I don't know. Did I say 34? I meant 37. This is uh, Psalm 37 and 1. Freak not thyself because of evildoers, neither be thou envious against the workers of equality. Let me look up that word freak. Continuously or visibly worried or anxious. 
worry. Oh, okay. So, freak not thyself because of evildoers. So, don't worry about them. Neither be thou envious against the workers of iniquity. Verse 2. For they shall soon be cut down like the grass and wither as the green herd. Verse 3. Trust in Yahweh and do good. So shalt thou dwell in the land, and verily, verily thou shalt be fed. Verse 4. Delight, this is the key that I wanted to do this. Listen. Delight thyself in, also in Yahweh, and he shall give thee the desires of thine heart. So everything that you, everything, if you if you desire, delight yourself in um, Yahweh Shemesh, he going to give you uh, what your heart is desired, man. Mainly in the kingdom, because right now we can't do, we we can't get whatever our hearts desire, man. Like I want a chariot, like <laughs> I, that's what my heart's desire is. I want chariot, women, and brothers may have some. Well, our brothers want women, but uh, you know I want a chariot. You know, women gonna come because of the power seat. You know, women gonna come. So I want a chariot. It's a, it's a couple things that I want. But you know, in Yahweh Bashim Yahushua can give me all that if I delight in him and do his will. Verse 5, commit thy commit thy way unto Yahweh. Trust also in him, and he shall bring it to pass. So put your trust in Yahweh Bashim Yahushua. If you stuck, if it's an hour of temptation and there's martial law troops out here, you gotta you gotta say to yourself, okay, okay, I'm gonna put I'm, I'm gonna put my trust in Yahweh Bashim Yahushua, wherever he lead me. You know, uh, that's where I'm supposed to be. Wherever he lead me, wherever he put in my spirit to go, that's where I'm going to go. You know, you got to put your trust in him. You got you, you to gotta talk to these. I talk to myself. I don't care. You know, I got to say, I got to tell myself, okay, okay, let's put our trust in you. Okay, I don't know where I'm going. I don't know what I'm supposed to go at. I don't know what I'm supposed to do. I'm just going to let you. How about you? I got me through the spirit or put it in my mind because he can put it in my head to do whatever he want me to do. So. Yeah, verse 6, and he shall bring forth thy righteousness as the light and thy judgment as the, as the noonday. Uh, verse 7, rest in Yahweh and wait patiently for him. Free not thyself because of him who prospereth in his way, because of the man who bringeth wicked devices to pass. So don't worry about these evil niggas, even though they get everything they fucking want and all the shit. They don't never get no... uh. It's like, you know, but then, yeah, they don't, they don't get that rebuke that we get, man, because they're not loved. They don't get that chastisement because they're not loved, man. Verse 8, cease from anger and forsake wrath. Freak not your, thyself in any wise, any wise to do evil. For evildoers shall be cut off, but those that wait upon Yahweh, by Hashem Yahweh they shall inherit the earth. And so, hey, that's plain, man. You gonna get the earth. <laughs> Verse ten. For ye a little while, for yet a little while, and the wicked shall not be. Yea, thou shalt diligently con consider his place, and it shall be. It shall and it shall not be, but the meek shall inherit the earth, and shall delight themselves in the abundance of peace. And we want peace, man. We just want to chill, man. Uh, Verse twelve. The wicked plotted against the just, and they're doing that now, and gnasheth upon him with his teeth. The the Lord shall laugh at him, for he seeth the day is, his day is coming. <laughs> you know, how about Shemel Shai is going to laugh at these niggas, man? The Lord shall laugh at him, for he seeth that his day is coming. Verse 14, the wicked have drawn out the sword and have bent their bow to cast down the poor and needy and to slay such as be of upright conversation. And so, because they don't like, they don't like when we are uh, doing videos out there on the highways and the byways and all that, man. They don't like that. Verse 15, their sword shall enter into their own heart. <laughs> That's their blessing. And their bows shall be broken. A little that a righteous man hath it better than the riches of many wicked. Yeah. 
Yeah. For the arms of the wicked shall be broken, but Yahweh upholdeth the righteous, and he does. Yahweh knoweth the days of the upright, and their inheritance shall be forever. So there ain't no limit to this kingdom that we gonna uh, that the, the, the elect gonna get, man. Verse nineteen. They shall not be ashamed in the evil time, and and that's coming. And in the days of famine, they shall be satisfied. That's right. Because when these people out here are starving to eat, starving, uh, the men of Yahweh are going to be eating. You know? Verse 20. But the wicked shall perish, and the enemies of Yahweh shall be as the fat of lambs. They shall, cons they shall consume into smoke, shall they consume away. And that fire is... And they're going to consume in that, that fire. Verse 21. The wicked borrow, borrow, borrow it and payeth not again, but the righteous sheweth mercy and forgive. And that's true, man. Shit. He probably stole it from you. And then you just let it ha let him have it, man. He stole it from you and you, just, you ain't even worried about it, man. All right. I didn't mean to do that. Uh, um... 22 for such as be blessed of him shall inherit the earth and they that be cursed of him shall could be cut off <laughs> that's right 23 the steps of a good man are ordered by yahweh so that's an that's another thing man when you um when it's martial law out here the the men of yahweh it just told you the steps of the, a good man are ordered by yahweh so he gonna keep those men from the hour of temptation and he delighted in his and he delighted in his way. Verse twenty four. Though he fall, he shall not be utterly cast down, for Yahweh upholded him with his hand. Verse twenty five. I have been young and now am old, yet have I not seen the righteous forsaken, neither his seed begging bread. Mm. So the righteous men are not forsaken, man. That's a good precept. It keeps you uplifted. These uplifting precepts, they comfort you. Okay, um, verse 26. He is ever merciful and lendeth, and his seed is blessed. 27. Depart from evil and do good and dwell forevermore. 28. For Yahweh love, loveth judgment and forsaketh not his saints. They are preserved forever. But the seed of the wicked shall be cut off. It's a good, it's a good one. It's a good song right here. Verse 29. The righteous shall inherit the land and dwell therein forever. That's right. That's right. That's right. 30. The mouth of the righteous speaketh wisdom. That's right. That's what. That's what. That's what. Um. Them, they, they, those men be out there on, on um highways and byways doing. This is Proverbs one, and um. Twenty, wisdom cried without she uttered her voice in the streets, and that's what um that's what the wisdom is doing, man. Through men, righteous men. They speak wisdom. Uh. 21, she cried in the chief place of concourse. In the openings of the gates in the city, she uttered her words. Saying, you know, that's that's those men who be out there on the streets prophesying and, you know, putting forth that wisdom, man. Through the spirit and power of Yahweh Hashem Uh And his tongue talketh of judgment. <laughs> that's the men of Yahweh Hashem Yahushai right there. His tongue talketh judgment. Talketh of judgment. Because, man, ain't no judgment going on out here, man. You know? We we want the men, we as a prophet of Yahweh, I want to see judgment executed on the wicked because they just prospering in their ways. And it's just how you prosper in your wickedness, man. That's just they don't make they don't make sense. 31. The law of his power is in his heart. None of his steps shall slide. This is a good chapter. Because you you meditate upon the law. You think about the law. 
when you uh certain certain laws will pop up in your head about certain situations, man. That's the spirit though. The wicked waited, watches the righteous and seeketh to slay him. And that's what they're doing now, man. They watching us. They know they know what we're going. They know what we're doing. You know, we know what they're doing. We're not ignorant. Just like the scripture says, we're not ignorant of Satan's devices, man. We know we know this devil, he old and tacky, man. Yahweh will not leave him in his hand, nor condemn him when he is judged. Verse 34. Wait on Yahweh and keep his weight, and he shall exalt thee to inherit the land. When the wicked are cut off, thou shalt see it. That's right. It's gonna come after the wicked get thrown down. After the um after after uh Esau go down, the wick I mean, yeah, the wicked who is Esau, after they go down, man, they're gonna see the land. Those men, whoever they who whoever those men are, uh they're gonna see the land. Verse 35, I have seen the wicked in great power and spreading himself like a green bay tree. That's right. And that's how he do, man. He's spreading himself across the whole planet. Verse 36, yet he passed away and lo, he was not. Yea, I saw him, but I could, but he could not be found. <laughs> 37, mark the perfect man and behold the upright for the end of that man is peace. That's right. Verse 38. But the transgressors shall be destroyed together. That's right. In the judgment day that's coming up real soon, man. The end of the wicked shall be cut off. That's right. 39. But the salvation of the righteous is of Yahweh. He is their strength in the time of trouble. That's right. Because when shit go crazy out here, man, guess who we're going to be calling on? Yahweh. Well, I'm not going to say we. But guess what the men of Yahweh Shema are going to be calling on? They're going to be calling on him, man. And... And verse 40, and Yahweh shall help them and deliver them. He shall deliver them from the wicked and shall and save them because they trust in him. That's right. You got to put your trust in that in that, that power, man. You got to put your trust in that name. You got to put your trust in that name. So that was Psalm 37, the whole, the whole song. The whole song. So I hope y'all was edified with this lesson, man. And everything was pretty much plain, man. It was really, didn't really know breaking down. So with that, I'm going to say Shalom. Yahabah Shem Yahabah Shem Yahabah Shem Yahabah And I hope y'all was edified with this lesson through the spirit and power of Yahabah Shem Yahabah And I'm going to say Shalom.